Hello, this is the Iron Savage here. I'm going to post a video about Legacy of the Full Fire. It has been a long time since one was made. Okay, we're going to be blue team in this setup. You can see home is the home is closed, far is far away. And use an interesting thing about Full Fire is that home and far are equal distance, so about the same amount of time. You have gates and you have the Lord. You kill the Lord at 350, you get the win. The Lord is worth 150 points. Now then. The first strategy you're most likely going to see is a 1-4 split. Pretty much you have one person home, and you don't have four people in mid. And if you've noticed this, and it's usually the most common one, and the person that's home should be the fastest runner. So a thief will be Berserker or Mesmer to get the point and run the mid. Now then, the other strategy would be the 1-3 split, where 1-3-1 one, one split, where pretty much you have this one person in home, he caps it, and then the person at far should be the best fighter to cap it and then run the mid, and you pincer them in. But the thing is, for this to work, the person that far has to be competent at fighting so that he can win the fight and come to mid. And that's pretty much it. Now, favorite strategy is the 2-3 split. We have two people home, safeguarding, and then you have three people far. And as you're going far, you pretty much knock that guy out. You cap the point, and the person in mid, they have to split off. And then after splitting off, the person, the two people at home go to mid. And as they're at mid, they're pretty much getting this all disorganized. And the other team is just freaking out. Now then. Big no-no is when you strategize and you have that one asshole that just goes to mid, even though there's four people there. Like, why? There's no reason for you to be there. Look at your mini-map. Look at your mini-map. If you see people, you don't see your teammates not there. You see you're the only dumbass there. Then don't go there. Don't say, oh, where's the rest of the team? Now then, another thing is when you knock in the gate. Usually knock the gate around the middle of the gate, mainly because so you can go in and at the end. But at the same time, if, so, if it's taking your teammate a long time to break that gate, don't break that gate. Use someone that, that has the build to break the gate. Because why? Why? You're just wasting time in a 4v5 situation. And once that teammate does get in, you're still, the, the other team is still in a 4v5 situation. And if it takes the other guy a long time to kill the Lord, he's just wasting time because he can't kill the Lord by himself. It's going to take him too long. And, and as that's going on, all y'all are getting slaughtered. So the person that should go and... And it is a very good strategy if you, if you get the other person, the other team's attention. But if they're slaughtering you, they're not going to care. They're not going to care. And the, and the only reason they'll probably care is around the end of the match where where people are like, okay, if, oh, oh gosh, this is a close game. They're gonna, if they kill, they're going to win. That's when they're going to care. But if you're doing this way too early, they're just not. They're going to ignore and they're just going to keep killing your teammates in the 4v5 situation. And that's pretty much the begin. That's pretty much it about the beginning of the match. Anything else would just be up to speculation based on the builds. And and these are just my common strategies. And if they don't work, and they don't work, um, thank you guys for watching and stay safe. Ciao.